Hey everybody, I'm here today to teach you how to do math in just a few minutes. I'll be showing you the four basic math operations and I'll show you how to do it in just a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Right here I've written the numbers 1 through 10. So when you count them, you should know the order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now the numbers on this side are smaller than the numbers on this side, so it gets bigger when we go from left to right. Now the first math skill that I want to talk about is adding. Now this little symbol right here is a symbol for adding. Now when you add things together, you're bringing them together. So if I have 1 plus 1, you can see I have 1 over here, and I'm bringing it together with the other one over here. There's one circle here, and one circle here. Now if we bring them together, we just count them. One, two. So the answer for one plus one is two. Now here I have another, another one, two plus two. So you can see I have two circles over here, and I'm bringing them together with two circles over here. Two plus two equals four, because one, two, three, four. We just count them all together. The next math skill that I want to go over is subtract. So subtracting. This symbol right here, the straight line going across, is the symbol for subtracting. Now for subtracting, we start off with the big number, and then we're going to take away. So right here I have 4 minus 1. So we start off with 4. So we start off with 4 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm actually just going to remove one of them. I'm going to take away one of them. So I'm actually just going to cross it out crossing out one of them, and what I have left is 1, 2, 3. So 4 minus 4 subtract 1 equals 3. Minus is just a different way to say subtract. Now we have another one over here, 6 subtract 2, 6 minus 2. So we start off with 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to take away two of them. So we're going to take away 1, 2, and what we're left with is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 minus 2 equals 4. 6 subtract 2 equals 4. The next mathematical skill that I want to go over is multiply. Now this little x symbol right here is a symbol for multiply. <clears throat> now when you multiply, you are figuring out a number of groups and how many are in each group. So 3 times 2, and times is another way of saying multiply, so 3 multiplied by 2. That means that we have 3 groups with 2 in each. You can see there's 1, 2, 3 groups, and each group has 2 circles in it. So what we do is we draw the groups, 3 groups, with 2 in each, and then we just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We count them all together, and that's our answer. 3 times 2 equals 6. The next equation we have here is 2 times 4. So, once again, we have two groups with four in each. Two groups with one, two, three, four in each. One, two, three, four. We count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our total number. Two times four equals eight. Last but not least, I'm going to teach you about dividing. This symbol right here, this little dot, line, dot, is basically a subtract symbol with a dot on top and another dot below. That's the symbol for dividing. Now for dividing, you want to get the bigger number and you want to divide it up. You want to sort of break it up into this many groups. Okay, so we have 8 divided by 2. So 8 is the total here. And we're going to break it up into two different groups. So we have 8 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I draw a line down the middle right here, I've broken it up evenly into two groups. You can see there's even amount, an even amount in each group. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the amount in each group is your answer. So 4 in this group, 4 in this group. Therefore, our answer is 4. Now, last but not least, here's another example, 9 divided by 3. So once again, we're going to start off with 9, and we're going to break that 9 up into 3 equal groups. So I have 9 right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to draw two lines to break, to break this up into 3 different groups. And now we have 3 equal groups, and in each group we have 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. That means that our answer is going to be 3. And that's basically it. This is the basics of math. And in this video, I have taught you how to do math in just a few minutes. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you want other math videos, let me know which math videos you want 
as a comment down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.